a very good morning students i hope you all are fine and safe at your home so previously we have done the chapter gender today we are going to go up with the new chapter that is case but before starting that chapter i request you all to join your hands and close your eyes and pray to god lord i know you are with me and love me give me a peace of mind so that i can prepare best for my study and also give me strength to go through with this such pandemic situation easily and come oh god please hear my prayer thank you yes so now doing such calm prayer let us start with a new chapter of english that is case fine so i request you all to go through the chapter once before after seeing this video fine so what do you understand by the word case before starting this chapter further we should go through that what is meant by the word case case means which tells you the position of the noun now there is much more confusion ma'am what is noun so starting from this the basic noun is the name of a person place animal or thing means which tell us the position of a person place animal or thing is known as the case is known as the case fine is this much clear for example if i am saying rohit is standing outside the room now there is noun is the rohit what position of rohit is telling that he is standing outside the room so position of the noun so noun position is outside the room now this is the case fine but this can be the case also there is there are few kinds of case how this can be case or how this can be case this will be explained in their kinds fine first of all just remember one thing what we have learned right now what is now name of a person place animal or thing and what is case which tells us the position of this noun for example rohit is standing outside the room the uh, noun is the sentence is rohit and what is the position of rohit that he is standing outside the room so case here becomes the outside the room clear this much let's move on to the further topic like further topic is the kinds of case kinds of case basically there are five kinds of case but in your syllabus we will read only four kinds because so kind is not of your syllabus it is just out of syllabus of all the higher classes okay so there are four kind of uh, case we are going to read the first will be nominative you can see that case as also the subjective the second case will be objective or you can say its other name as accusative the third case will be dative this case does not have second name okay and the fourth case will be possessive and the its other name is genitive fine c before starting further let me clear with you with one thing what is that one thing which we have to got it clear that is that in nominative case or in subjective case we used to talk about this subject 
the word itself says that in this case we used to talk about the subject in this case in the second case we used to talk about the object they tip they tip in this there is we used to talk about the object only but the object which is used to denote the third person the object which is used to denote the third person this is just a basic review what these names meant i will go through the topic one by one possessive which show us the possessiveness means this thing belongs to me or this thing belongs to you that is known as the possessive case means that which shows the belongingness of the thing understood this much let us move further by the singular by singular okay let's come on the first topic that is the nominative case or the subjective case what do you mean by what do you mean by the nominative case or the subjective case when the noun in this there are two points one when the noun is used as the subject of the verb as the subject of the verb now what is subject ma'am and what is verb before starting this chapter i hope you must be remember that what is subject and what is verb subject means the to about whom we are talking and verb is the doing action verb is the doing action verb is the doing action we are talking verb is what the doing action clear this much now second point what should be kept when we are talking about the subjective case or the nominative case is that we used to ask or we used to put the question who or what who or what just before the verb just before the verb i already told you what is verb just before the verb we have to put the question who or what the answer you get is the nominative case for if do he brought a bouquet of flowers what is the verb in this that bought kuch lana something to buy or something to bought that is the verb in it now put the question who or what just before the verb who bought a bouquet of flowers you are getting the answer as juhi then what the juhi is here juhi is a nominative case getting my point let's jump on to the one more example mohit is my friend full stop mohit is my friend mohit what is mohit is a noun what is a verb in this sentence there is no doing action verb there is an auxiliary verb known as is yes that is known as the helping verb so put the question just before that what is my friend no question who is my friend answer you are getting is mohit then what this mohit is nominative case clear this much clear very clear or should i explain with few or more example okay i am taking one more example of your book only fine rubbing this uh, first example for example we bake the cake 
last night what is doing action in this bake to bake something is an action going on this sentence fine who baked the cake last night the answer we are getting is we baked the cake then what is this we here it is the nominative case clear this much fine let's jump on to the second case only to keep what in mind noun is used as the subject of the verb second is put the question who or what just before the verb ye that circle word is the most important to find the nominative got my point keep this point in mind i am again again saying put the question who or what just before the verb to find nominative case clear next second we have read is the objective case or its other name is accusative case the case itself says that where we are talking about the object then it is known as the objective case when noun or pronoun is being put as an object of the sentence means when the noun and pronoun noun or pronoun is placed it's placed as the object of the sentence then it is known as the objective case a noun which comes after a preposition a noun which comes after the preposition then also it's an objective case for example there see one thing is that in that you have to find the before verb in this you will have to find the objective case as after the verb after the verb take the example from your book or uh, myself i will give you this example the horse killed the boy full stop if i say to find in the sentence what is the objective case first of all you will find the verb if i say to find the nominative case which we have read first that will you will find who killed the boy then answer will be the horse this is the subjective or nominative case fine now objective case killed whom killed whom or after verb will be the objective case killed what is the written after the verb the boy then this the boy will be the objective case or the accusative fine let's take one more example the vendor sells mangoes the vendor sells mangoes sells what mangoes objective case let's take one example from your book the book is on the table t the second point a noun which comes after the preposition now in this the preposition is on what is the noun coming after the preposition the table so what is this this is the objective case or you can say this is the accusative case i hope these two cases are very much clear to you all yes so we are not moving further so that you may not get confused we are stopping here this topic only we are will read the other two kinds in the next week 
first what you have to do just go through these two topic do two these two kinds in your book read out from there any sort of query you will be having it will be sorted out in the zoom class when we will be having the zoom class fine i hope this is clear let's make a little recapitulation what we have learned a short recapitulation we are making we have learned what is case which tells which tells position of noun fine then we have read two kind nominative which other name is subjective then we have read accusative whose other name is objective then what we have read this that in this in this the subjective case is what when there is a before the verb we have to find the subjective case before the verb or ask the verb who or what these two things we have read in objective case we have read that it should be placed after the verb or placed after the preposition taking a exa common example of for both of them the boy is riding a bicycle riding is a verb in this who is riding a bicycle this will become the subjective case and riding what a bicycle this will become the objective i hope this much is clear to you all thank you